Hey guys, it's Nate with Saw Saint the Boss here again, and today is day number 73 of quitting drinking alcohol. Today I wanted to talk about not being easily influenced when you're quitting drinking alcohol. Um, a lot of us got into drinking in the first place by being influenced, influenced by our friends, our peers. You know, a lot of us start drinking when we're younger because um, our buddies tell us that it's somehow good and try this. And I snuck it out of my old man's liquor cabinet or whatever. And uh, when we first tried, it tastes like crap, of course, but we try to pretend that it doesn't. And we do it over and over again until we acquire a taste for this nasty taste and stuff. But uh, anyway, and a lot of us are influenced by uh, all the advertising going on. You know, it looks glamorous to drink and everybody that's cool in these ads are drinking and then Hollywood and TV shows and society. I mean, there's just influence around us everywhere, every day. You go into the grocery stores and the liquor department's got all these shining lights on the bottles and um, just the way they merchandise it and everything about it, you know, makes it look appealing to us, you know. And uh, a lot of it's just brainwashing, you know, from the time you're born to the time you get to drinking age or even before that, uh, you know, you're just seeing all this you know, hype about how great alcohol is and, you know, your parents are maybe going out to parties and drinking and that's what grown-ups and adults do. And, you know, we don't want to be kids. We want to be grown-ups. So um, from a very early age, we're influenced and kind of brainwashed in a way to somehow think that alcohol is a good thing. In fact, a great thing. And if you don't do it, there's something wrong with you, you know, in a lot of cases. And, uh, the older I get and the further from alcohol I get in this process, the more I realize how influenced I was and a lot of the people around me are, you know. Uh, they're just being influenced and buying into all the uh, propaganda about alcohol around them. And, uh, you know, it's important to be your own person. If you're the kind of person that right now feels like alcohol isn't doing you any good in your life and it's taking away more than it's adding to your life, then it's time to make a change and stop doing it, you know? And um, that's where I was. It was adding nothing to my life and just hurting me and taking away so much that I had to get away from it, you know? And, and you know, you're gonna have people that still try to influence you. Oh, come on, you can have just one, or, uh, you know, what's wrong with you for not drinking? And uh, you're probably gonna lose some friends in this process, you know? Um, the people that were, you know, mainly just drinking buddies, um, they're going to probably fall to the wayside as being your friends because if that's most of or all of what you had in common was getting around uh, and drinking, then uh, they're not bringing you up anymore. And quite honestly, you don't need those people in your life. Those are the ones that may try to drag you back down into the uh, drinking again. You know, because they know that if you stop drinking, that your relationship with them is uh, going to dissolve. Because deep down they know that uh, that's all it is, is a drinking relationship, you know. And drinkers want to surround themselves with other drinkers because it makes them feel okay about what they're doing. Well, you know, I mean, it, it, have you ever noticed, you know, if there's a few people in a crowd that aren't drinking, everyone's trying to encourage them to drink, you know, because... Um, they want to feel comfortable around everybody in the room, you know, um, because uh, they're drinking. And uh, so anyway, uh, as you go along in life and uh, you start to get older and wiser and um, realize that alcohol uh, adds no value to your life, it's important to see the influence for what it is and how it's existed in your life up until this point. See it on the ads that come on, see it in the merchandising in the stores in Hollywood and Hollywood and um, just truly acknowledge and see it for what it is and um, see how everyone else is just kind of going along with it and brainwashed. I mean, um, you know, if all of a sudden they said, you know, drinking goat urine was somehow a great thing to do, you know, and they started advertising that, you know, some people are so easily influenced, they may go along with it, you know, um, especially if you're born into a society where that's already okay and everybody around you is doing it. And that's kind of what it's like. You know, we've been born into this and everybody's okay with it and has been for decades and that type of thing. So, um, 
So stand strong, stand your ground, you know, when you go to um, outings after you feel strong enough to do so um, and people are offering you drinks and stuff. Don't, don't let them talk you into going back to drinking. And, uh, oh, come on, you know, you, you can have one. You've been off it now for six months. You know, one's not going to hurt you and you've already done six months. So, you know, you could probably just have one and be fine, you know, and that's... Uh, I mean, that happens to just about all of us at some point when we uh, quit drinking. It's happened to me in my past attempts, you know. And um, and typically, a lot of times, it was one of those um, friends that would really want me to drink with them that would drag me back down into the drinking again. And I would feel like, well, yeah, you know, this guy's my buddy, and I don't want to let him down and, you know, be the outcast. And all just a bunch of BS of me, you know, being weak-minded um and easily influenced so um if you see that something's good for you and the right path in your life don't be weak-minded and easily influenced by anything else you know you know in your heart what's right for you and stand firm to it you know the whole world can be going a certain direction but if it's wrong stand your ground you know and be like nah that ain't for me that ain't right and uh you know that's really what I'm learning too about this whole process. Again, and I've said it so many times, after you get the alcohol behind you, you'll, you'll just naturally start becoming a better human being and a better person and have better convictions and better morals and just realizing that, um, you know, uh, you can be better and uh, turn into the person that you know you should truly be deep down. But all this while you've been just numbing yourself and poisoning yourself and keeping yourself from doing that so um that's it for today guys just think about that stop being so darn weak-minded and easily influenced i mean i was for two decades you know and uh like i said me talking about all this stuff is just my own experiences you know um maybe this stuff doesn't apply to you and if it doesn't then that's great you know but uh i know for me um all I can do is share my experiences and maybe some of you guys will get something out of it. So uh, with that said, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.